Hey you guys, so today we're going to switch things up a little bit and do the most popular video at the moment on YouTube. I tried following Blank's makeup tutorial and I decided let's try to follow Kristen Dominique's makeup tutorial. Y'all, I love her. I literally met her in this top. I'll explain it later on in the video. And y'all, she was the first youtuber or at least one of the first youtubers i started watching so if you guys want to see me follow kristen dominique's makeup tutorial then keep on watching btw if you've never seen this face before hey you guys my name is hannah bell hope you guys join the family press the subscribe button down below and tap that bell so you get notified every time i upload a video every time i upload a video all right guys without any Further ado, let's all try to be Chris and Dominique for a day. So I chose to follow her, my go-to daytime glam makeup tutorial. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at the screen. But y'all, I have my makeup ready. I'm ready. I am ready. Alright, let's make it full screen. She's got a red background. I got a pink one. Kind of matches, right? They're all in the same family. Oh, she does that. Love it. Oh! That's right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look right here for you guys. And I think it's a really pretty look for this entire season. It's just really pretty orangey. Girl, you are pretty. Come here, anything. And for some reason, it matches my background. It's so unintentional, but I kind of like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel right there and hit that notification bell so you can be part of the quad family. So if you want to learn how to get this look, then keep watching. We are going to start off with the Morphe Prep and Set. <gasps> I don't have Morphe. The only thing for Morphe I have is this brush. No, that's Luxie. I don't have that. Um, we're gonna prep and prime my face with Mac Fix Plus. I love this stuff so much. It's a fine mist that just goes over your skin. It feels so this is refreshing. This a fine mist too. Next thing we're gonna get into is foundation. I'm gonna be using. Wait, the wait. Dirt I gotta let my face dry a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Need a beauty blender. She's got a black one. I got an orange one. That'll do, right? They're all of the same. Probably, definitely not. This is definitely not my shade anymore. It's a little better. I was actually blending in with the background at one point. That was kind of scary. By the way, you guys, I'm doing this video in partnership with Ipsy. So Ipsy! I love Ipsy, y'all. If you guys are not subscribed to Ipsy, if you're not members, you doing with your life? <laughs> Just so cute. Wow. You guys know I do not wear foundation on a daily, weekly, basically monthly basis. <laughs> so this I'm doing for you. All right. Now, Christian Dominique, you may continue. Light sand. <gasps> Ooh, I got that. I have the shade tan. Wait, did she say tan sand? Are we sisters? I'm actually mixing light sand together. Ooh, okay, light sand. I'm excited to apply it the way she does because she applies a lot, which is okay. You know, this is your concealer. You can apply as much as you want. But you know, I'm a basic girl, like super basic. I apply right there and that's all I do. So, lead on, Kristen, lead on. Wow. Do a little J-Lo trick, right? Wait, where did this come from? Now, let blend it in. Sometimes I notice when I pounce really hard on my skin, like it kind of separates or it doesn't like give me the coverage that I want. I have to use a very oh, gentle really? hand to okay. myself. Be gentle so that it blends into the skin nice and <laughs> gives me more coverage. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Hold one. up. I gotta finish pouncing. Boom! Oh, 
What is no, that? Baby. No, 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 no. Oh, that's our kitty. Boba. <laughs> oh. You don't cut your nails. I'm gonna go in with this Jouer Essential Matte and Shimmer Palette right here for the crease. I'm gonna take this shade right in the middle. This Ooh. is a matte taupe shade. It's called Desert. So while she takes that palette, I'm gonna take the Toasted by Tarte palette, and I'm gonna take the shade Cashmere. Kind of looks like it, right? Taupe shade, it's called Desert. So I'm gonna it's take okay. that, pop it on to the crease with some dimension. The lid, kind of outlining where the lid is. And then blending this in the eye, make sure there's no harsh line. Pretty nice. Now I'm gonna go in with this red shade, it's called Sapia. All right, hold shade. on. Hold on, she only did one eye. We got two. <laughs> All right. I got my Morphe 3502 palette. I'm sure we can find that shade in here. And as you can tell, I've never used it before. But it was one of those palettes you just had to have, you know? I'm a makeup hoarder. <gasps> oh yeah, we found it! Yes! You guys, fire. Fire. Okay. Motions. You're using a soft touch and you're doing soft quick touch. short circles to blend this around to make it really soft. I'm going to go ahead and work on this inner part of my lid for that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like she kind of brings it in too. Even though she doesn't tell us. I can kind of tell it's in the crease a little bit. You guys, this is why I don't do makeup tutorials. <laughs> Okay, so this one is called Skinny Dip. It's like the shimmery pink one. I'm also going to use Coral Sand. It's like an oh, orangey pink. Coral Sand, and that's then really golden, pretty color. The golden shade. First, I'm going to take this gold shade right here, and I'm going to work it. You guys, I think I have this palette. I think I have the one she's... I'm having trouble opening it. But I'm pretty sure this is what she's using in her video at this very moment. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, so what is she going to do with this? Wait, wait. So then she took a brush to kind of blend the edges. So it looks natural. What else? Finish, I like it a lot, and it's really pigmented. And then I'm gonna go in with that, the shimmery orange pink shade, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the other side of the brush, and work that super close to the inner corners. Okay. I want it to fade in from the orangey to the golden and that light pink shimmer. You tell us. And then I'm gonna go in with the shimmery whoa, 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 pink whoa. shade. It's kind of like an ombre effect. You guys, <laughs> bear with me, please, okay? <laughs> bear with me for this video. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in hold with on, the hold on. brown. They really do move fast. I wonder why this is a challenge. This matte brown shade is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. We need a dark chocolate. So, I'm gonna take, I don't know the name of this shade, but I'm gonna take this shade from the Morphe 3502. Okay. I'm gonna work that right on the outer part of the Okay. I need Okay, so I'm gonna take that brown from the Morphe 3052 again. Do my crease. It's giving me a really nice dimension. I like the color it's giving me, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm also gonna take some of that reddish shade. I'm just going to pinch this brush right here. It kind of has some on it. I'm going to go right underneath okay. the dark chocolate shade. I just feel like it'll tie everything together a little bit better. Now I'm going to go in with a wing liner. I'm going to be using this LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this All right. So let's do the eyeliner. You guys, I'm scared. I have not done eyeliner in forever, so... 
gonna go in with a wing liner. I'm gonna be using this LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner. All right, here's the liner. <laughs> I feel like this side, we did good. This side was like, see you later. I don't care. <laughs> Going over it with the Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Black Noir. And gosh, it's just going on like butter on my skin. And it's so nice. It's so black. It's fixing all the mistakes. <gasps> I have that. I have that. I need to go get it. I'm going to take the Kim Tai Lashes from Cake Face Beauty. And it's such a cute box. It looks like a little present. And Love you, Kimmy Tai. They're very long and glam, so I think they will fit perfectly with this look. We're just going to grab them, cut the edges, pop them on, and I will be right back. All right, so you guys know I do not wear falsies. Um, I don't have them either, so I'm going to get my handy dandy lash curler and mascara, and we're going to do that, so I'll be right back. Just like Kristen said. All right, your girl has mascara on. Now let's see. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay and Naked Skin Shape Shifter. And oh, I'm she's contouring and bronzing up her skin. First, I'm gonna use this contour shade right here, and I'm gonna chisel out my cheeks. I'm chisel. Use the Sigma chisel, chisel. Angel chisel. Cream Contour Brush right here. Grab that contour color. So I'm gonna take my Stila shade and light shade now. Shape and Shade Custom Duo, and let's contour our cheeks like she did. Oh, okay. She just more of like a like a C shape. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my little. Like this cute little ball. I always feel like this contour color is a little too ashy. I mean, I like oh. a a shadow. Oh, she uses her beauty blender to blend it all. I don't have that. So now we're all contoured. I'm gonna put some blush on this pretty blush right here. From so instead of taking the Tarte Clay Stick in Deep Honey, I'm gonna take Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and bronze up my skin. The blush right here from Keek Beauty. It is called Metally Matte Naturally Abu. And it's like a peachy pink Aww. shade, and it's a smooth matte with like a metallic sheen. Wow. Hold on. So I instead am gonna take Tarte Blush in Unstoppable. I'm gonna set my under eyes. I'm gonna use this Kat Von D. Just like right here. powder. Now she's baking! <laughs> we got the same powder. I'm gonna let that sit and bake and I'm actually gonna do it first while I Speaking of baking, I'm going to use this Caked Makeup Lip Fondant in the shade Low Key, and it's has a heart. I love Ooh, it. I love it. So, I don't have that exact shade, but I do have the Coco Collection from Kylie Cosmetics, and I think this shade, Ochre, is going to do just fine. This is also a vegan and cruelty-free product, which is cool. Ooh. I don't know about vegan and uh, cruelty free. Kylie, thoughts? Okay, so now that I'm done with my lips, I'm just gonna dust off the powder. Oh, well, I'm not done. Hold on. All right. Lips are done. She wiped the powder off. The first thing that caught my eye. It will definitely be good as like a little highlight on the nose. So I'm gonna use this highlight from Pixie Glam Bag. It's the Urban Decay After Glow Eight Hour Powder Highlighter. So this is in the shade Sin. I'm gonna take this to use that to highlight my nose. Ooh. I like that it goes on. So for my highlight, I'm gonna use Betty Lou Manizer from The Balm. It's pretty blendable. So it's kind of good that it's this size. Yeah, it's on the it's colder small, side, but it's that's okay. Big, so it just fits Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Also, I have some other videos over to the side if you want to check them out. And I want to let you know before you go that I love you. If nobody's told you today, you're beautiful. And go and make today amazing. I will yes. see you guys in my next video. You guys, go make today amazing. Today, tomorrow, the rest of your life. 
All right, you guys, well, this was definitely not one of my proudest moments, but I hope you guys found it entertaining nonetheless and enjoyed it. If you did, to some degree, give your girl a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and hope to see you in my next video. Ooh, let me know. Should I follow someone else's makeup tutorial? But yeah, anyways, anyways. I love you guys so much. Bye.